Local, state, and federal investigators continue to work around the clock collecting evidence from the blast. The early morning explosion severely injured Yale University computer scientist David Glertner. He was apparently opening his mail in his office at about 8.15 when the bomb went off. Suffering from stomach, chest, and a hand wound, Glertner ran a block to the university's health clinic. He was then rushed to Yale New Haven Hospital. We know him to be a conscientious scholar, a thoughtful and caring human being. The FBI is investigating the link between this letter bomb and an explosion earlier this week that maimed a genetics professor at the University of California at San Francisco. I don't think that there is any motive that can possibly be established at this date. There has been none. So far as I understand, there has been no credit taken for either bombing and no motive that's been expressed. The FBI says it won't take long to determine the type of bomb used. I would imagine it would be uh, a relatively quick uh, determination from residue that, uh, that we can tell what kind of explosive was involved. At a late afternoon news conference on campus, officials could provide little information about a possible threat. The connection is something that we just can't address at the moment because we just don't know. Professor Glertner has been at Yale for 11 years. He's one of the world's leading experts with parallel computer processing. It's the use of a number of computers uh, running simultaneously to solve large problems. Shortly after the mail bomb exploded at Yale, a threatening phone call was made to the VA Medical Center in West Haven. David Glertner's brother, Joel, is a genetic scientist at the VA hospital as well as a Yale faculty member. About mid-morning, we received an anonymous telephone call to our switchboard saying, you are next. VA officials tell us the Connecticut State Police bomb squad was here checking out what appeared to be a suspicious looking padded envelope. But an x-ray of that package revealed it was not threatening. Meanwhile, the homes of both Joe Glertner and his brother remain under tight security. The FBI says investigators have to presume that David Glertner was an intended target, although they say it's still not determined why he would be singled out. In New Haven, I'm Kevin Hogan, Action News 8.